viewers of this video will find these revelations, as with other parts of our mystery uncoverings, do not conform to the status quo of populist long-held beliefs. This latest reveal is in relation to the allegory story of Adam and Eve within the biblical Genesis account. We have provided much evidence thus far of just how prevalent coded allegory and symbology is applied by the mainstream media apparatus of the elites in revealing celestial-based mystery secrets, although coded as a part of how they choose to operate within a so-called game of life. Allotted religious media distributed across various cultures is no exception to such mass distributions as part of the rules of the pyramid elite applied when it comes to releasing information and where they have long been in power within this domain as celestial record keepers. Their function of operation provides the planting of seeds relating to knowledge not limited to both our earthen and human creation and the cycle nature of the shifting ages. From the genesis of newborn stars to the revelation of the dramatic upheavals that occur on earth as they die, as above, so below. Birth, death, and regeneration of all things, including creatures, kingdoms, and civilizations. Appointed seasons for the earth, and likewise appointed seasons for the celestial bodies above. The stewards, or set wards of this prison domain, are not allowed to directly reveal the truth according to their rules where those who care not for the truth are allowed ignorance by their own will. These earthen elites also adhere to a law of confusion as part of their game role they say they are playing. Refer to the hidden hand materials for better perspective of how the Elites, i.e. adversarial Luciferians, operate and how they perceive their structured role and place within this dualistic world system. In uncovering and decoding just how prevalent human bodies are used as metaphors as a part of displaying the long concealed cosmic allegories, realizing that famous media stars are often representing stars allegorically on the stage of veiled disclosure. We have exampled in turn mainstream comic characters representing cosmic bodies alongside other widely distributed books, music, film, and television clues concealed across the board that have been shared within our various works, decodings, and assembled folders for the discerning researcher. This video will highlight that the Book of Genesis depiction of Adam and Eve, too, was no exception to this multi-layered mystery school applied function of concealment with revelation, wherein the Genesis biblical account of Adam and Eve in the garden represented not the creation of flesh bodies from dust, but rather the creation of stars. Such celestial bodies bear living consciousness above, just as the earthen beings below, a humanity manifested of cosmic stardust in same image of a star being's projection of its thoughts made manifest through density. The verse, come let us make man in our image, being a reflection of this as above, so below aspect of creation. And just as we consume life essence within the environment below, so do they from above in their procession through the equinoxes. The star bodies within the galactic garden at Genesis were given their provisions, although the consumption of the apple by Adam and Eve in the garden was not an apple at all. Rather, it represented something far greater in allegory that applies to our current cosmic existence within duality, affecting all life in our solar system and beyond. The apple of the celestial garden represented indeed a transgression of the will of the gods, being the stars that partook in a harvesting and not of a piece of fruit, but rather the harvesting of earth containing the creatures of a duality consciousness, beings of good and evil, positive and negative indeed. Genesis 3, chapter 3, verse 3. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. The fruit of the tree in the midst of the garden refers to this earthen tree, long said to be positioned at the center of the universe, situated at the heart 
along with an inverse underworld reality, a duality matrix construct, hence why Earth is an anagram of heart, though it is still said to be centered in celestial makeup. That spoken Bible verse is placed deliberately by the mystery school scribes within Genesis 3, chapter 3, verse 3. The 333 placement representing the third of the star angels consciousness that fell, i.e. separated from the one in that conscious Jupiterian Saturnian Alcyon Trinity rebellion of harvesting, symbolizing the serpentine Ouroboros function still occurring through the cosmos. From such a system outlined in Genesis, a cyclical harvesting occurs at celestial intersections, i.e. crossings as metaphorically coded within the revelation accounts that reveal in greater detail conclusion events of the celestial age cycle. Star Wars above, war below, and an opportunity to return to a paradise beyond a negative duality for those that have predominantly rejected the temptations of this Saturnian Luciferian dualistic structure model. The allegory body of Eve was used in place of Lilith, suppressed from the Bible text to represent the soul harvesting of a world via the star being Alcyon in her function. Alcyon now decoded and revealed as a scarlet whore of Babylon, who intercourses with other star bodies and worlds through the ages, the rebel mother of a creation that resulted in whoredoms below, within the inverse. The creation of the inverse. In the forbidden harvesting from the branches of a duality world, Adam and Eve had took within their body the consciousness of a dualistic consciousness construct to now know good and evil in their partaking. All their star cluster worldly creations from that point of ingestion were subsequently duality worlds in such melding of celestial intercourse, containing the knowledge and functions of good and evil. It widened the celestial plasma oceans with furthered predator prey aspects in the galaxy and that now inherited expression within mind and body. The only remission from the transgression of will in the cosmic garden is a sanctifying purification through cosmic fire to both dissolve and cleanse, as too will cleansing occur for, re for the redeemable beings below within this collapsing of a long-fallen inverted underworld system structure alongside the many worlds of the star gods' inverted corrupted expressions. We rapidly approach that zero nexus point of purification, a universal regeneration in rebirthing. However, before that is the celestial harvesting of this earth once again by these star gods prior to the cleansing and the replanting distribution of such soul spirit bodies in their micro form. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. After the harvest, the stars metaphorically die, i.e. they transform or change from their current state in the supernovas to come. The purpose of the coded biblical texts was to reveal, whilst also concealing, celestial knowledge via allegory, as many cultural mythological accounts do. All conscious stars and their associated celestial bodies all emanated from the one, and from that one infinite eternal expression, all expressions emerged birthing fruit from the original branches of life. The question remains, though, what branch of emanation will we eventually find ourselves upon throughout these opposition fire trials whilst this paradigm remains? where none can escape the determining influences of a cyclical celestial dance as expression of this temporal inverted creation. For now. George and Laodiceum, Sovereign Key. Mm -hmm.